The general lady from Florida, Miss Carmack, is recognized for five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Uh, can you all hear me okay? Yes, we can. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I have to be honest. I am incredibly frustrated. Uh, you know, it has uh, been uh, about 14, 15 months now uh, since the beginning of the 117th Congress. And today we have had six, six hearings about climate change and one about production agriculture. One. I, I um, like I said, I, I'm very frustrated. I represent an area that is home to producers. And as the lone Republican for the state of Florida on the House Agriculture Committee, this issue is incredibly vital to my state. We are a top 10 producer of agriculture products in the country. And to say that this hearing is redundant is um, putting it nicely. It really does betray the, the really serious dire needs of our producers that they're facing right now with fuel, input costs through the roof, uh, labor concerns, taxes, regulations, red tape, you can't even begin to understand the, the frustration of our producers um, because we haven't, we haven't brought them before the committee. We haven't had these conversations. And if you ask any of my producers in Florida whether the pressing concern for them is covering irrigation canals with solar panels or figuring out how they're going to afford fertilizer in the coming months, I think it's pretty obvious what they're going to choose as the issue of concern for them. And the fact that this hearing isn't even a review of the farm bill program, as the majority would have us believe, it's instead a wish list of climate change pro uh, priorities, that it's a wish list of things that lack practicality. And so I I'm really, really frustrated. And I echo the frustrations of producers, not just in Florida, but across this country that, are, that feel that they are screaming at the top of their lungs and it's falling on deaf ears in Washington and in the halls of Congress. Again, the cost of fuel, has that been addressed? No, there is no feasible plan from this administration or this committee to address that. The best that has come out was we're going to work to make electric vehicles and charging stations happen in rural America. Folks, we don't even have broadband. That is a pie in the sky idea. While well-intentioned, it misses the mark by a mile. And I just can't even begin to tell you about the labor concerns. Just even two weeks ago, having to work to process applications for H-2A workers because we had blueberries. It's blueberry season in my district. And they have no help in order to pick the blueberries. This is a continual issue that we are seeing. The cost of fertilizer, Mr. Chairman, alarm bells have been ringing. We now have Russia invading Ukraine and many people know that Russia and Belarus are the major supplier of potash. And when I speak with our producers, they're facing issues of regulatory hurdles here in the country. And then you look to our Canadian friends who, when you look at the Canadian Pacific rail line, they're looking at a strike. What are our producers supposed to do in the face of input costs that make doing business unreasonable? I, I, I feel like I feel extraordinarily frustrated for our producers because this committee has had opportunity after opportunity to talk about these issues that are on the minds and being discussed at kitchen tables around this country. And instead, it's being neglected for a political agenda. You talk about the important role of forestry and timber and how that plays into carbon, uh, carbon capture. But what happens when the privately owned and workforce in my district in Florida are sold because the cost of labor and fuel and inputs are so high, it's unsustainable. One forester in my district let me know just last week, he's seen $10,000 in increased fuel costs, just in fuel costs. He told me that if prices stay this high, which of course is this administration has indicated that it will, and they will continue to stay this high. He's going to sell his land. Do you really want the next crop to be a, sound, a foundation slab? Because it won't be production agriculture. And I think there needs to be a come to Jesus discussion in this committee about the future of agriculture. And I'm not talking about climate change. I'm talking about production agriculture. And if any person on this call has eaten today, you should be concerned about production agriculture in our country, which is a national security concern. I, I, I cannot believe that we are picking and choosing the issues 
that are of national security concern for every American, regardless of where you live in the country and what box you check. 